Hello, I'm Joe Neville and welcome to Linux for Networkers Part 5. I've called this one Where's RDP Using X Window. Now, if you're like me, before trying to learn Linux, I was quite happy uh, with the Windows environment. And one of the main tools that I would use was Remote Desktop Protocol to sit on a local client and connect into remote servers or PCs. Now, when I moved into the Linux environment, I was initially confused about how to perform an equivalent function. In other words, what is the Linux version of RDP? Well, like usual in the Linux world, there's a number of alternatives, such as VNC and variations of. If we look here, quick search on VNC in Google, we see that we've got real VNC or there's type VNC. I think real VNC is mainly for Windows environments. Type is for Linux as well. Now, the aim here is to, like RDP, remote control of a desktop. Now, earlier in this series, I did advise not to install a desktop and to learn Linux via the command line as the best way to get to grips with the operating system. Which is great, but what about applications that really need a GUI or at least a much easier for learners to, well, beginners to learn um, with a GUI? For example, how do we launch and view a web browser in Linux without a GUI? This is where X Windows comes in. It allows Linux to fire up a browser and forward the display window to a remote client. So we've got our Linux virtual machine, we can fire up a Firefox web browser and then sit on our Windows PC and actually view that. X Windows is a windowing system that isn't anything to do with Microsoft Windows. Um, there's an alternative name for it, which is X11, which is actually the protocol version, which has been stable since the late 80s, I believe. OK, so to set this up, firstly, we need uh, an X Windows server application on our local client. So that's a Windows client that I'm using. Um, and a version of that that I prefer, yeah, it goes by the name of Xming. So if you do a search for Xming, you hit this. This is the first page, the SourceForge page, and you can download it here. So once that's downloaded, start that up, you will see an icon like this on the bottom right. So that means that the server's running. Now, X window can be tunneled over SSH connection. By default, X window between client and server data is unencrypted. So a popular way of uh, viewing X window data is via an SSH connection. So to do this, we're going to use PuTTY. So if I fire up my PuTTY here, this is my connection to my local Linux VM. And here you see the SSH tab, go into X11, enable forwarding, and then on the X display location, we put localhost colon 0 0.0 open that session login okay now to ensure that your Linux machine is configured for x11 forwarding we need to check so we're going to do a cat on etc ssh hd underscore config and in here we can see so this is the this is the output from my command here if we scroll down we can see that I've got x11 forwarding on so that's yes so I don't need to edit that now if that was no I would use vi to edit that and just change it to yes and save it so 
we're set up we've got our putty connection for x11 forwarding i'm running my xming server now to test this out we want a browser the ubuntu doesn't come with a browser by default but we can easily install one with app get install firefox Now I've already done that, so if you haven't, that will download and install Firefox for you. And once Firefox is installed, we start it up using sudo Firefox. And that will forward Firefox to our local Windows client. As you can see, this is Firefox here actually running on my Ubuntu client. OK, so that's how to set up an X window session so that you can easily fire up browsers or other applications that you prefer to use a GUI without having to resort to downloading and installing a desktop. That's all for me. Thanks for watching.